New Hampshire Colony. A little history. New Hampshire is one of the 13 colonies that later became the United States. It was founded by John Mason and John Wheelwright in 1638, when it joined the other 12 colonies to fight the Great Britain. The, the settlers in New Hampshire are of European descent, mostly English European. The settlers of New Hampshire came from England mostly because of their beliefs. They wanted Puritans, which was not accept acceptable in England. They also came to make money and a better life for themselves. Geography of New Hampshire. The Trinity colonies were divided into three regions, England, Middle, and Southern colonies. New Hampshire is part of the New England region it is located on the Atlantic coast of North America. New Hampshire consists of mountains, thicks, with trees, rivers, and poor rocky soil. New Hampshire climate. New Hampshire was one of the coldest colonies due to where it is located on the Atlantic coast of North America. The summers were short and winters long. One advantage to the cold winter is that there were less diseases t compared to the colonies located in the south. New, New Hampshire known for. New Hampshire colony was best known for, for fishing and whale and whaling and their defense f and the dense forests. New Hampshire was also recognized for their crops of pumpkin, corn, rye, and beans. New Hampshire culture. New Hampshire diet consisted mostly of fish, whale meat, and the cattle of pork. Because of the poor conditions of the soil and living in close to the Atlantic Ocean in long winters and short summer, farmers had difficulty growing crops. Pumpkin, corn, squash, rye, and beans was what the New Hampshire was able to grow. New Hampshire religion. The New Hampshire settlers were mostly Puritans who lived in who lived strict lives who believed that God chosen some people to go to heaven with him and the rest of humanity would go to hell. There were also Baptists and Presbyterian religion. The church was in the middle of the town and was also the meeting house where the town had meetings. New Hampshire population. The settlers in New Hampshire lived in towns and went to the countryside to farms, fish, or hunt. Just like the other 12 country colonies, the settlers of New Hampshire were divided into social classes. The upper class were the wealthy and educated and were able to vote and be in high positions in the public offices. The middle class was also educated, owned small businesses, slash farms, able to work in public offices. They could be professionals like doctors or lawyers and could vote, could also vote. New Hampshire population two. The lower class slash poor whites were Ill illiterate, could not vote and were small man manual labor laborer, farm workers, and sailor. Indentured servant did not have many rights, could not vote or get married. They could not get paid for their works for at least seven years and about 550,000 were convicts. New Hampshire traditions. One of the traditions Traditions of New Hampshire population was flying fishing. The settlers brought the technique with them from England. The wet flake flies sink below the water surface so fish 
would think it was dead and fly and would catch fishes in that way. New Hampshire everyday life. Kids in New Hampshire colony were kept busy. They went to school, but at home they, tell, they helped with the chores by collecting berries and helping building stone fences. By picking up stones, and they also would help with the farm. Women in New Hampshire colony had limited rights. They were not allowed to vote. Their main job was to take care of the children and the household. The average men in the colony mostly worked the, on the farm as a laborer and managing the farm. Farming was very important back then. They gave them a chance to be heard in the local government. New Hampshire everyday life too. Enslaved people in New Hampshire colony worked as a laborer for the upper class and unlike the indentured servants, their positions was for life. They could be brought in trades just like the trading goods. Indigenous people lived freely and had bad relationship with the settlers due to the disease they brought with them like the chicken pox. Free black and were the black people that were once slaves and became free after paying their debts by working as a laborer or black people had a parent that was white. Free people could, however, be enslaved at any time if they were caught by a slave catcher. New Hampshire Economy and Resource the type of jobs that the settlers held in New Hampshire depended on their social status. The upper class was educated and wealthy. They mostly owned businesses and farms. They also held high positions in public office. The middle class were also educated. They were professionals like doctors, lawyers. They owned small businesses and could also work in the public office. New Hampshire economy and resource too. The lower class were essentially the poor whites. Were no educated and worked as a laborer on the farm, sailors or hunters. Many resources were available in New Hampshire tin, timber, coop, copper, fur, whales, coal, and fish. Those were the main resources being traded. New Hampshire, along with the rest of the colonies, were part of the triangular trade between England, Africa, and Americans. Amer Americans. The settlers had no say in the prices of the trade. It did not benefit them or the slaves. Only the prices, only the English government benefited from them. New Hampshire needed a slave for trading for the free labor. Bye guys, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye.